Did you know that the amount of grain a horse eats per day can be the difference between health and disease? Many people think it's enough to just fill the feeder and let the horse eat as much as it wants. But the truth is that the equine digestive system is extremely sensitive and excess feed can bring serious risks. In today's video, we'll reveal clearly and practically how much grain a horse should really eat per day, how this amount varies according to weight, age, and activity level, and the mistakes you must avoid to keep your horse healthy. And at the end, I'll share a golden rule used by equine nutritionists that will help you never get this calculation wrong. Horses are herbivores adapted to eat small amounts of forage continuously throughout the day. Unlike ruminants such as cattle, horses do not have four stomach compartments. They have a relatively small stomach and a very large hindgut, which acts as a fermentation chamber. This means they need constant intake rather than large meals at once. That's why equine nutritionists use a measure called dry matter to calculate feed quantities. On average, a horse should consume between 1.5% and 2.5% of its body weight in dry matter per day. For example, a horse weighing 500 kilograms, which is the same as about 1,100 pounds, should eat between 7.5 and 12.5 kilograms of dry matter per day. That's about 16 to 27 pounds. But what exactly is dry matter? All horse feed contains water in different proportions. Dry matter is simply what's left when all the moisture is removed. It's where the nutrients are. Fiber, protein, energy, minerals, and vitamins. For example, hay usually has about 85 to 90% dry matter, meaning only 10 to 15% is water. Fresh pasture grass, on the other hand, may have 70 to 80% water and only 20 to 30% dry matter. This means that for a horse to get the same nutrients in one kilogram of hay, it would need to eat three to four kilograms of fresh grass. That's why dry matter is the reference point. It tells us the real amount of nutrients a horse is consuming regardless of whether the feed is hay, grass, or grain. It's essential to understand that the foundation of a horse's diet is forage, hay, or pasture. Forage provides the fiber needed for proper digestive function and energy through fermentation in the cecum and colon. Concentrated feeds or grain should be seen as a supplement intended to provide extra energy for performance horses, broodmares in late gestation or lactation, and growing foals. A leisure horse working lightly often doesn't need much grain at all, but a racehorse or high-performance athlete may require up to 2% of body weight in concentrates per day, always divided into several meals to avoid overloading the stomach. Let's make this clearer with examples. A horse weighing 500 kilograms, which is the same as about 1,100 pounds, kept at maintenance with no heavy work, can thrive on good quality hay alone, about 7 to 9 kilograms per day, or 15 to 20 pounds, along with salt and minerals. The same horse in light exercise may need 2 to 3 kilograms of grain per day. That's 4 to 7 pounds, in addition to hay. A racehorse or one in intense competition might need 5 to 6 kilograms of grain daily, which is about 11 to 13 pounds, always paired with forage to protect digestive health. Beyond body weight and workload, another crucial factor is feed conversion efficiency, the ability of a horse to turn feed into energy and body condition. Some breeds, like Lusitanas, quarter horses, and ponies, are very efficient. They extract so much nutrition from feed that they require less to stay in good shape. Feeding them too much grain increases the risk of obesity and metabolic problems, such as insulin resistance and laminitis. On the other hand, breeds like the thoroughbred usually need larger amounts of feed to maintain weight and performance because they have a faster metabolism and burn energy more quickly. This shows that the rule of 1.5% to 2.5% of body weight in dry matter is just a starting point. Each horse must be evaluated individually. Feeding too much grain can cause serious problems such as colic and laminitis. 
Horses were not designed to handle large, grain-heavy meals. In nature, wild horses graze for many hours, moving long distances to find enough forage, never consuming large amounts of concentrates in one sitting. That's why stable horses should never receive large quantities of grain at once. Their system simply wasn't designed for it. Another common mistake is feeding all the grain in one meal. The safe practice is to divide concentrates into at least three or four smaller meals per day. And, of course, fresh clean water must always be available since fiber digestion depends on proper hydration. And here's the golden rule I promised. Never feed more than 0.5% of a horse's body weight in grain per meal. For example, a horse weighing 500 kilograms, which is the same as about 1,100 pounds, should receive no more than 2.5 kilograms of grain at one time. That's about five pounds. Exceeding this amount drastically increases the risk of colic. This is one of the most important recommendations made by equine nutritionists and can truly save your horse's life. In summary, the amount of grain a horse can eat per day depends on its weight, age, body condition, level of activity, and feed conversion efficiency. But one thing is certain, forage must always be the foundation of the diet and grain should be added with caution only as a compliment. If you enjoyed this content, subscribe to Inside Horses so you don't miss our upcoming videos on nutrition, behavior, and equine history. And share in the comments, how much grain does your horse eat per day? Your experience may help other horse lovers take better care of their animals.